introduce the rice man feature and welcome to strike the questions. Mary, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, Ty Ty, there's a lot of talk about rust when guys, you know, are sidelined for a bit. How much did you need to uh, grease the wheels, so to speak, and, and be yourself? Uh, I just need a little bit of time. I mean, you know, just coming back from an injury, especially like a little nagging injury, it was, it'll always take time. But, you know, I feel good. Foot, ankle, everything feels good. So now it's just really about keep uh, staying constant in the gym, keep getting reps. And I just feel like, more reps I do in practice and on my own is just going to translate to the game way easier for me. Thanks. Hey, Tai Tai, congratulations on the win, first of all. Uh, how is the, uh, where you feel you are right now as a team confidence wise? And how is the feeling for you to play alongside Safir and Oscar on the floor and especially on offensive end? Uh, repeat that one more time. Yeah, how, where you feel you are right now as a team confidence wise and how, for you personally, how's the feeling to play alongside Savir and Oscar? Uh, yeah, my confidence is very high, you know, uh, every shot and stuff I sh shoot in the game, everything I do in the game, you know, I do that in practice, I do that on my workouts. So I just feel like, you know, me having self-confidence is very high and having a guy like Oscar, you know, my confidence is very high. I know if I miss it, He's going to 95% of the time, he's going to grab the rebound and put it back up. So we're still getting the basket either way. Uh, and with Savir, same with him. You know, we be in the gym together a lot. You know, we both motivate each other. Uh, we both be in there trash talking each other because we know at the end of the day, we want the best for each other. So the more the more reps we get in the, uh, together and just staying constant, we always help. I know, Ty, Ty, you talked about that your confidence is always high, but they're in the first half and you get those three baskets in 60 seconds, a three-pointer, a drive, kind of a little pull-up shot from outside. That had to kind of help you, I would think, maybe be a little bit more confident. Yeah, I am back. Uh, yeah, for sure. You know, it was just happy. I was just happy to see the ball go through the hole, you know. Uh, that actually just, like, boosted my confidence, like, you know, I know I'm coming back from an injury, but just seeing the ball go in that many times uh, and that time span was just very happy for me. And I just felt, you know, finally feeling back to myself a little bit. Terry, back to you. Yeah, Ty Ty, it kind of caught my attention when you said you and Savir kind of give each other the business. What, what sort of things do you say? What do you get on him about? What's he get on you about? Uh, he. So Savir so really likes to call me, you know, heavy feet because he's way faster than me. But, you know, I'm like, I have heavy feet, but you'll never be able to shoot like me. And, you know, we just add that more fuel to the fire. So he always tries to outshoot me in the all our drills. And when we're going, like, full court length, I always try to race him and beat him. And, you know, we just know us doing that is just going to keep getting each other better. Thanks. Yeah, Ty Ty, it seems like just yesterday that you got here on campus and now you have one more game left in the regular season. How quickly has this year gone for you and uh, what are your goals for the remaining part of the year? Uh, yeah, it was like earlier, actually right before I walked into the arena, I was looking at my phone because uh, it was my mom's birthday. So I was looking for a picture and I just seen when I just first moved into my dorm and I'm like, wow, this is crazy. Like this was on May 30th and it's like, now we got one regular season game left. So it's just like the year's been going by pretty fast. Um, you know, we got one more regular season game to get all the little kinks out the way before, you know, stuff gets real. So it's just like for the rest of the season, I'm going to continue to get better and do whatever the team needs me to do to, for us to be successful and make this long run that we're trying to make. I noticed at the end of the game when they gave you the mic, you spoke first uh, before everybody else. What was that all about? And how did you feel about getting selected for that honor? Uh, I felt really good. I mean, I kind of did that by choice. It was just like, you know, I just got, I actually, I actually got the Kentucky experience, um, you know, coming fresh out the pandemic, just seeing everybody's faces. It reminded me of all the stuff I seen growing up on TV, just seeing how crazy the fans were. And I actually got the experience. That. So I just wanted to, you know, thank them firsthand for always being on our side. We finished up. Uh, on our home court undefeated, you know, so that was always big for us. And 
we couldn't really do that without the fans. Okay, thanks. Any other questions for Ty Ty? First goes back to you. Ty Ty, how good is this team from your perspective? What is the, the ceiling of this team? Uh, you know, our team is really good. You know, we have like the we have a mentality of like the next man up. So like when people go down with injuries and stuff, you know, we always have the other guys that's always ready. So here it's just about always staying ready for your opportunity. Like y'all, uh, everybody's seen what Bryce did when he came in against LSU. So it's just really about just staying ready and staying prepared. And, you know, we're really deep on this team. We all really love each other on and off the court. Like there's no fake uh, love at all. And I just feel like the ceiling from this team is really high as long as we just stay healthy, stay together, and, you know, just keep pushing each other in practices. And just with our coaches, they always they always hold us to a high standard, and we're always trying to our best to reach that standard. So it's just like I feel like if we just keep staying connected on and off the court, we're going to make a pretty far run. Yeah, Ty Ty, you got one more regular season game left, and it, it's a pretty important one. How do you keep the focus on it and not kind of start to get excited about being near, you know, tournament time and just getting to the the so-called big games? Uh, yeah, so we always look at every game as a big game. We never try to go too far ahead of ourselves or anything like that because anybody can be anybody. So, and we all know that here. So it's just like we're going to, take uh, tomorrow to prepare for, take the next few days to prepare for Florida. We know they're a tough team and we're going down there to play them at their place. So we know they're going to have great fans and all that. So we're just going to really focus on ourselves and do what's best for us to hopefully pull out a win. Yeah, Ty Ty, Coach Cal is known at the end of the year for doing a lot of tweaking. And as a player, how is that frustrating at all? I mean, you go through this whole season, and then here at the end, he's still kind of putting new things in. He was telling us about all the new things that he was putting in at practice. How, how does that uh, hit you guys? Uh, you, well, you know, we're a really smart team, uh, really mature. So we know at the end of the day, Coach Cal is going to do what's best, for not, uh, what's, be what's best for not only players, but what's best for this team. And we all have the same common goal, which is the win. So we all trust Coach Cal enough to do whatever he has to do for us to get a win. You talk about being a smart team. I think Coach Cal has also mentioned several times how smart Lance is. Why is Lance so smart? Uh, he's really smart because, you know, he just has good basketball IQ. I mean, he, he's a basketball fanatic. So he really just knows, like, when he's on the court, he knows where to be at all times. He knows how to just, you know, do the little stuff for us. Thank you all so much. Thank you, guys.